So, what I want to say about detoxing, um, and I want to start off by saying when you detox, first and foremost, what you need to do is you need to believe in yourself. You need to make sure that you believe in what you're doing before you embark upon this journey of detox because detoxing is a very serious thing. It's a very serious journey. Like you don't just like, it's not just about what you take into your body. It's about how these things affect your body and what pops up in your reality and how you respond to what pops up into your reality and how it affects the energies of your body and what it, um, and how you respond to these things also help your body and your mind to eliminate things as well because the physical reflects the mental and the mental reflects the spiritual, I mean the, um, <laughs> the physical affects the mental and the mental affects the spirit, um, physical. And it is, and it is, it is, it's very spiritual as well. Like, I'm not trying to stop myself from saying that it's a spiritual thing, but I really want to focus on the fact that it is a um, mental, physical, mental and physical thing as well. But your response is a spiritual thing. So we just have to make sure that we, um, we're not um, forgetting that when you detox, it's not just about a physical action. Like, it's, it's going um, in a deeper way. Like it's 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 um, affecting your body. It's affecting your mind in a deeper way. So when you do detox, make sure that you believe in yourself first. And when I say believe in yourself, you have to believe in yourself deep. You have to believe in yourself as if, say, like for instance, you are a fan of Beyonce. And and being a fan of Beyonce, most people or they they most they probably um they would consider them stands. I don't know if they consider them stands anymore, but or um well they call them Beehive. Let's just call them Beehive. Like the the Beehive defends Beyonce like hard harder than she defends herself most of the times. So with that, what I want to say is. You have to believe in yourself in that way. Like you have to believe in yourself so much that it's almost like you're believing in something that you can't, that you you've even you've never even met. Let's let's say it like that. You've never met before, but you believe in that thing strong. Like it's it's like a very strong, deep rooted conviction that you have and you want to hold on to that. You don't want to let go of it because of what anybody has to say. You don't want to let go of it because of, you know, bumping the road, something that you encounter that you kind of like are unsure about because when you, when you reach these bumps in the road, there's like a test. They're like, they want to see like, if you want to keep going, like if you want to keep going and you want to keep down this path, you want to keep going on this journey, you want to keep, you know, releasing stuff and letting things go like and sometimes a bump in the road can be like almost like a question of your character like is this something that you are ready to let go of is this something that you are aware of that you're let going letting go of and are you accepting the fact that you're letting go of this thing like and in, 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 in all these situations, what you have to do is make sure that you believe in yourself very, very, very deeply because you're going to encounter things that cause you to want to give up, that make you question, you know, am I doing the right thing? And is this something that I really want to do? And when detoxing, like, one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to even though some people say that um, it's good to set an intention, you don't want to set a, an intention because, well, for example, you don't want to set the intention of, I want to lose weight or I want to heal this because with detoxing and my experience of detoxing is that you end up getting so much more when you don't set that intention of, you know, I want to release this or do this specific thing because you end up um, releasing a lot more and it's a lot 
of things that may seem like this is the root cause of what what um um may be causing you to like um let's say gain this weight or hold this weight but it it may be um stuff beneath that you know that that you're holding on to that can um actually be causing you to put on this weight like you can you can want to let go of the weight but what is it on a mental level that's causing you to hold on to that like hold on to that um weight what is it on a spiritual level that's causing you to hold on to that that um weight and th and this is another thing too the reason why i don't say don't set an intention is because your intention can change over time like if you do set an intention and i think this is a better way of addressing it if you do set an intention make sure that once you reach that um goal to go f to um reevaluate and then go further because that intention may um be met like you may meet that level of um understanding that you want to uh, reach but you have to reassess that and to refocus um your energy once that intention is met because you may be able to see differently because with me my personal experience is that you um gain deep, deeper you gain um a different perspective once you reach a certain level of understanding like you may want to um let's say um you may want to climb a mountain and once you climb the mountain you kind of like your perspective change like your view changes like as you go up the mountain like you see the mountain as bigger as you're going up but once you go um let's say halfway you see it's different because you can see like you can turn around and you can look at your journey so far and what you've accomplished and the things that got you to the where to where you are and then you can turn back around and look up towards the um place that you want to go and you can see like the mountain in a different way like you can see like maybe a different route or you can see that your route um, can lead you up, but there are some obstacles that you um, will encounter as you go up, and the, and um, you can um, figure out a different way to go. And it may not necessarily be like the route that everyone else is going, but it'll still lead you to the right destination or the same destination. But um, <laughs> but um, you want to make sure that you're um, reevaluating. You want to make sure that you are looking at it continuously from a different perspective and notice that your perspective is changing as your journey is going on. So if you do set an intention, make sure that your intention is in a line, is, a, is aligned with your goals going forward. Like you may um, set the intention to lose weight and you lose some weight and once you lose that that weight is it your goal to stop because you you've lost like you know x amount of pounds and are you satisfied then this is this is all a mental thing like is it, are you satisfied then and then if you do um reach that goal and you are satisfied then do you keep going or do you stop? I was going to say something about it being a mental thing. Like, um, since it is a mental thing, your mind could, could give you or give you the feeling or the, um, the sense of fulfillment once you reach that, that goal that you set, that intention that you set. And... Once you reach it, it'll feel like I've accomplished this, so I can stop. But some, but once you, once you, once you get the idea of detox being detoxing being more than just like releasing stuff for like um, something such as um, weight loss. Once you get, once you get the idea that it's beyond that, then you will um, see that your journey is probably just starting. So. Like I said, first believe in yourself. Don't set a um 
goal unless you are willing to constantly reevaluate once you once you reach that goal and understand that your goal is sitting maybe sitting on top of something that's even bigger like you may you may um go inside of your mind and see that you you reach some type of gold <laughs> and it may be fool's gold it may be it may look like gold but you may find that if you deep if you dig deeper, if you go longer into that darkness, then you find real gold. You find something more valuable than, than what you initially, you know, set out to find. So that's why I say don't set an intention because you may, you may end up getting more than you um, thought you would. And, and it may benefit you more in the um, long run for you not to set that intention and for you to just take the journey and see what comes up because... Detoxing, you go through a lot of things. You go through emotions. You go through, um, you know, projections of, of things that come up that you didn't know that you were dealing with. And you may um, see something manifest in your physical reality that you have to, you know, face. And how you respond determines what is let go and, and what is held on to. Because sometimes when you are um, facing those um, situations again, it's a signal for your mind or your um, spirit to hold on to that energy. Because sometimes you could be recreating that energy and giving it new, um, new energy. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to give, you don't want to give old energy, new energy, because all it does is it comes back up into your reality and it creates more of the same thing that you've already experienced and something. And it may be the thing, very thing that you need to let go of. So you have to be very cognizant. You have to be very aware of things that are going on while you're detoxing. So another thing is to be aware be aware of the fact that you are detoxing and never forget that you are detoxing while you're detoxing because once you forget that you are detoxing while you're detoxing outside of the fact that you may be taking like some type of herbs and you may be uh, or you may be um, drinking water or you may be, you know, doing whatever and you may lose sight of the fact that you are actually on a detox as you go on your day to day life and you may encounter certain things and the things that you encounter will probably be important to the fact that you are detoxing, which more than likely will be important to the fact that you are detoxing because at the end of the day, it's all energy and the energy that you interact with will um, manifest. And the things that manifest in your reality are the things that kind of um, determine what happens as you go forward. So the things that happen as you go forward are given energy based off of how you respond to them. So when detoxing, make sure you are also um, giving life and, new, and, and giving energy to the right things and new things, things that you want to incorporate into your life and you want to um, grow in your life. So make sure that you are watering the right things. Like um, most people when they detox, they um, drink um, a lot of water, um, but that's not necessarily always the case. But I use the analogy of water because those things that you water do grow. So you want to make sure that you're watering the, the proper things and the things that you water do uh, produce fruit and those Fruit are things that you want to eat from. You don't want to eat from um, bad fruit. You want to eat from good fruit. And, and the good fruit that you um, water could um, could um, provide things in the future that, you know, that you actually appreciate. So, well, no, they will. No, it's not even the could. They definitely, it definitely will. Like, I've seen it happen in my own reality. And, and this is why I'm sharing what I'm sharing right now. Like, the things that you water produce good fruit. And... The good fruit that you produce, you want to make sure that you, you're able to eat. And not only that you're able to eat, that you're able to give to other people to um, allow them to eat from it as well. And, you know, that seed, you know, produces another seed and so on and so forth. So those are the things that I wanted to make sure that I shared uh, for now. Um, I'm going to do more about detoxing and... 
things that, you know, could help someone else on their path of detoxing. But I've learned a lot from detoxing and it's, it's, it's very important for us to detox. Like detoxing is more important than we um, realize. And something that I learned from Dr. Sebi is that we're not only supposed to detox, but we're also supposed to revitalize. And that's what I was kind of alluding to with the idea of, you know, watering the right things and, you know, giving proper fruit. I mean, um, producing proper fruit. Um, but I'm gonna uh, make another video and yeah. So um, with that being said, I love you and I hope you're having a nice day and I will talk to you later.